Four years ago, Resident Evil 3 redefined survival horror and left a permanent mark on the gaming world. It's just a shame that permanent mark appears to be a brown streak in my pants. It has heart racing gameplay, exciting battles and extremely difficult puzzles. I, I've, I've went to the room they told me to go to, I've picked up what it's told me to pick up and I've put it in the machine it's told me to put it in, but it, nothing, nothing's happening. The achievements for this game are relatively basic boiling down to completing the story a minimum of three times and grabbing some collectibles along the way, which is why it's the perfect game to start our upcoming series of getting every achievement in every Resident Evil game. Now, you might be wondering, why not start with the original Resident Evil and do them in order of release date, or even Resident Evil Zero and do them in chronological order? Well, the answer to that is, if we look at the chronological order of Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3 is both number three and five in that list. So if it's already fucked, what difference does it make? The game follows the story of Jill Valentine. <laughs> Don't worry, not Resident Evil 5's absolute monstrosity. No, God, please, no! Jill is a member of the Special Tactics and Rescue Service and a bomb disposal expert. Although there was one bomb she was never able to defuse. You bet. You bet it's the bomb. Jill's mission in Raccoon City is to investigate the evil corporation known as Umbrella and as you can imagine, this evil corporation has taken steps to resolve this situation. Hello, we've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. With what's later identified as Nemesis evaded, we escape the building and grab the first achievement of the game. I think if I played Outlast, I'd shit myself. Uh, first escape, there we go, we got our first achievement. That was Escape from Jill's Apartment Building. We're then introduced to a federal agent named Brad, who's going to try and help us get through a zombie outbreak in a Capcom game. Where have I seen this before? The name's Brad. So Brad fucking dies. We continue with the tutorial and meet up with Carlos Oliveira. Carlos is a member of the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service and has years of mercenary experience, which mainly comes out of his time as a guerrilla fighter, most notably during his time in Cincinnati Zoo in 2016. Carlos gets us into the underground and we unlock our next achievement. Escape from Uptown, Raccoon City. Carlos nominates Jill to make her way back to street level to get the trains working again. Because why would you choose either A, a mercenary who has years of training fighting rebels and terrorists, or B, a former Soviet army soldier with, once again, years of training fighting loads of enemies, when you can have a glorified traffic warden go up there, all guns blazing, and just hoping for the best. On top of that, Mikhail is meant to be committed to the well-being of those under his command. Well, clearly the fuck not. I'm up here getting munched on, and not in a good way. We're getting fucking munched on here, Jill! Oh, Christ. Despite my reservations, we make our way to surface level and pick up the next achievement for combining two items in my inventory. Basic chemistry. There we go. Perfect. Craft an item. We then put out a fire and are introduced to Nikolai. No, 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 wait, please! Oh, my Jesus, he's been railed. Nikolai is a former Soviet army soldier with a military background, which provides him with the skills necessary to survive in this hostile environment. It's just a shame that he's also an asshole. We finally get to the power station and make our way to turn the power back on. Oh, we can just use that for the end of time now. That is... Uh, what the fuck is that? Nope. 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 Not at all. Get that thing. The... Uh, what the actual fuck was that? And how do I avoid it in the future? No! Get fucked, you little she-lob little bastard. I'm having a wonderful time. This is my idea of a very nice day out. Oh, right. Yes. Get me out of here. I... Oh! Oh, my word. Nope. Get me out. 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 Knew I could do it. Get me out of this shithole. With the power turned on, we get back inside and pick up a hip pouch on the table for the next achievement. And get organised. Expand my inventory. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Thank you very much. Our next job is to get to the subway company offices to set the route for the train. But it's never as easy as it sounds. Ah, you arsehole. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh my god, he's literally just punched a woman in the face. I'm all about equality, but not like that. 
Oh, I have... Oh, a supply case. Nemesis down. Uh, supply case. Right. Uh, yeah. Why are we not running, Jill? Oh, my God. No, we're not. No, we're not. Okay. Uh, oh, my Christ alive. Fuck you, Nemesis. Suck my asshole. Oh, we got that supply case. What is in here? An extended magazine for the handgun. Thank you very much. Oh, and we've got the gunsmith achievement. Now we're in the offices, we set up the train route and make our way back to the subway to meet up with Carlos. Oh, come on. Not again. What the fuck are you doing, you daft bitch? You know what? I oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Boom. Right, we're making our way downtown. We're walking fast. We're faces past. We are homebound. Oh my, yeah, I'm fucking mega fucked. Get that bunda in that vent. This vent leads us into the sewers, where we fortunately spend very little time. We're introduced to a new enemy named the Hunter Y. What in the ever-loving fuck is that? More specifically, why on earth did they give this thing an insta-kill move? Is that just eating me whole? Am I... I'm dead. Cool. Right. On our way out of the sewers, we find our first Charlie doll and destroy it for the next achievement. Yeah, I thought so. Hello, Charlie, you little sneaky bastard. On our way out of the sewers, we're reintroduced to our nemesis. Nemesis. Oh my Christ almighty. Nemesis proceeds to burn down an entire building, which is where I start to realise his stalkerish tendencies, such as believing their target is the only person they can love. <laughs> or making grand gestures to impress their target. Like burning down a building. Stalkers may also be too preoccupied with their target and neglect other aspects of their life, such as personal hygiene. Like, use some moisturiser and some keeps and you'll have Jill in no time. Keeps, sponsor me. Finally, stalkers may have a need for control or try to violate the boundaries of their target. I feel like both of these can fall into one. Now that we've outed Nemesis as a stalker, we get into Nemesis battle number two. Fuck you! Have another one, boy. Suck on that egg. Oh my god, I am on fire, and I am dead. I think, realistically, any normal person would have died there, Jill. I'm gonna be honest. I'm so fucking good. Suck my ass, buddy. Is he dead? Let's go! We've got an achievement. We got Nemesis down, question mark. So that means no. Use that. Another one. Oh, my. as if, buddy. What is going on? I've, I, what, am I? Oh, I've been mega railed. Ah, uh, piss. If you really think about it, the demo, that, that guy just gave me head. Oh my God, never mind. Okay, the, he doesn't want to give me head. We reconvene with Carlos and the UBCS team in the subway and make our way out of the city where the Soviets show their true colors. He is the best type of soldier, the one willing to kill himself for my greater good. Escape from the city. There we go. Got an achievement. I presume, yeah, we've made it out of the city. Who'd have thought? What, what a surprise. With Jill now buried in the subway, just like Henry from Thomas the Tank Engine, we take control of Carlos and quickly find Brad from earlier in the game. Oh, you're an absolute idiot. Oh, he's munching his cock off. An unfortunate end. Defeat zombie Brad. Carlos finds himself in the Raccoon City Police Department, where his objective is to locate and detain Dr. Bard. Fortunately, the police station is built with loads of separate rooms and offices, so whenever we feel like we're getting slightly overwhelmed, we can just take a step back and wait for the enemies to come back to us. Oh, you're an absolute ass bag. This is not the way I take damage. No, you're a dick. We've made a detonator and we use that on there and then it, see, it's all about the mind games, people. It's all about the mind games. Oh my, can you leave me the goddamn hell alone? Right, let's get out of here. Let's reevaluate. Oh my God, right, this is not good at all. As if you fuck knuckle. I'm dead. Ah, uh, yep, there we go, Carlos is fucked. Oh my Christ. 
Okay, so maybe the doors weren't as helpful as I'd originally thought, but on attempt two, we managed to get past the zombies and the liquor and find Dr. Bard. Then figure it out. I want our cell, man. Oh, that's Chivo. Uh, the Carlos Express. Leave RPD. Getting back to Jill, we see that she has sustained absolutely zero injury from the train crash she was just in. Once we get out of the subway, we get into the third battle with Nemesis, who now has more third degree burns than the Human Torch. That thing is terrifying. I don't want to be near that. I don't have the ammo for this, quite frankly. I have 15 bullets, just to clarify. I have no idea what I have to do here now. I'm out of ammo. Okay, but we found ammo. We found ammo. We're, we're, we're onto something. Right, I'm out of handgun ammo. This is... We, we have nine bullets to take this thing out. That's it. Let's go! Come on, baby! Get railed! Despite my inability to preserve ammo, we've taken out Nemesis and Jill can safely leave the area without anything else going wrong. Nothing at all. Ah, beans. Okay, this isn't good. This is not good at all. Let's go. Remove the arm. How is he going to finger my ass now if he's not got an arm? Oh, he's grown it back. Yeah, you know what? That, that's completely justified. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, we got an achievement. What have we done? I don't feel so good. I'm not entirely surprised. Leave the clock tower plaza. With Jill infected, Carlos takes her to the nearby medical facility in search of Dr. Bard and a vaccine to cure the infection. It's just a shame that this medical facility appears to be a harmacy. Uh, that's not good. Oh, I've walked directly into the... Oh, get off. Okay, I am tapping A very fast. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is not good. This is below optimal. I am dead. <laughs> How fast do you need to tap A to get out of there, my man? Once we've managed to get past the same normal zombies I've been fighting throughout the game, we're introduced to the Hunter Beta, who gets the name from making you their beta. Excuse me? Well, how am I going to kill that fucking thing then? Reload, Carlos. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. No, I don't want to continue in assisted mode. I know I'm dead, but what the fuck can I do against that? Fuck off! What am I meant to do? They're fucking one shot! Aiming for its head whenever possible. What, what do you mean? What do you mean, aim for its head? I'm aiming for its head with a assault rifle that, ha that has 32 bullets in its magazine, and they do jack shit. Fucking... I... After an embarrassing number of deaths, we get past my alphas and go to find Dr. Bard and a vaccine for Jill. Bard's dead. Ah, what a shame. We grab a vaccine, give it to Jill, at which point we're attacked by a horde of enemies. Fortunately, we easily take them out and get the next achievement for surviving the attack. These big things have Skibbity Ohio Sigma Riz. No wonder they're so strong, and I think I might have to ban you for that message. We've withstood the zombie horde. I'm also going to have to keep in whatever I've just said about that comment, so... I, I, I've got no choice at this point. We regain control of the now vaccinated Jill and get into the final section of the game, chasing Nikolai in the underground facility. Our first task is to collect three fuses to fix an elevator so we can move to the next room, a task for which there is an achievement for completing in less than five minutes. However, what we fail to remember is that I am a professional idiot. So through the power of editing, I'm going to save you a whole 20 minutes, yes, that's right, four times the expected amount 20 minutes of your life and just skip over this hey we got an achievement we are the pursuer that makes you sound like a predator of sorts now we've made it to the lab we have to create and synthesize the vaccine to stop people turning into zombies or something i don't know we make our way through the lab and pick up the first part of the vaccine the antigen with that collected we continue through the lab on our way to get the adjuvant We got him. Oh, we got him. Let's go. Two for one deal as well. What do we do? We grab the adjuvant. Come. Filled test tube. And at that point, you'd think this section is complete. But no. Unauthorized materials detected. What do you mean? Unauthorized materials what do you detected. mean? Another 20 minutes later, and having investigated the whole map a second time, we eventually fold and look up how to use one of the core mechanics of the game. Combine... 
I hate my goddamn life. Oh my god. You combine them. Oh, I'm an absolute twat. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. With the vaccine collected, we get into yet another nemesis battle. This does not look good. Nope. Oh, let's go. Right, come on, Carlos, help me out here. Let me, let me spot for you. My boy, we're not in the gym. Fucking get down here. Yeah, cheers, Carlos. You're doing jack, buddy. Come on, come on. Right, we are officially out of those rounds. That is fine. I am close to death. Oh, okay, yeah, he has wrecked me with that. Fair play to... Oh, oh my God, what am I meant to do here? What the... F well, there we go. That that is that is it. Um, we are out of ammo. <laughs> so, any any bright ideas, guys? <gasps> wait, whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What's this? Shock? No way. Oh my god! Right, we have ammo. We have ammo. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Goddamn prime Mike Tyson with a crane right there. What a left hook. Oh, that's Achievo, baby. Nemesis down, exclamation mark, question mark. Defeat stage two, Nemesis. You are fucking me. That's right. Less than three minutes later, we're into Nemesis battle number five. Okay, so I can't do anything up close and personal to it. Oh, my God. I am dead. Activate all of the power sources and fire the rail gun. Oh, do you know what would have been great? any fucking indication that that was what I was meant to do. Ooh. Oh, I'm alive. Okay, I thought I died there. I was going to be fuming. What a shot. Get railed. Oh, yes. Right, okay. It's up to power. Up to power. Let's try this again, please. Come on. Can we kill it this time, please? That's looking good. Oh, we're pushing forward. Oh, this might be it, people. Oh, let's go. Rain that blood on me, baby. Take back the vaccine. And we got the achievement. Nemesis down. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Honestly, this game. Alphabet's trying to... F I thought my game crashed. I was going to lose my shit. The Nemesis dead. We have one final objective. To take down Nikolai and get the vaccine. Nikolai tries to plead for his life by reminding you all to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But that doesn't really negate all of the horrible things he's done. Let's go. I thought I missed that. Jesus. <laughs> we defeat Nikolai, grab the vaccine, and leave Raccoon City to complete the game in a god awful time of four hours and 29 minutes. Four and a half hours. We've got the achievement survivor. We've got a C rank with 13 deaths, man. That's actually trash. Playthrough number two, we decide to play on assisted difficulty and collect some miscellaneous achievements which are not difficulty based. These achievements are Power Stones for placing all jewels in the Clock Tower Monument when exploring the city, Master of Unlocking for opening all locked containers, Kendo's Armoury for collecting every weapon, Electric Slide for gathering all fuse boxes a lot quicker than I did last time, Goodbye Charlie nice. for destroying all Charlie dolls, Bookworm for reading all story files, Minimalist for completing the game without using the item box, and I Might Need These Later for completing the game using one or fewer recovery items. Fun fact, we did not get the achievement for completing the game in less than two hours, because I suck. With only six achievements left to go, let's have a look at the Resident Evil 3 shop. In this shop, there are various items that can increase the damage you do, decrease the damage you take, or even give you health regeneration, among other things. At this point, we opt to pick up the unlimited ammo pistol, which is where I make one of two horrible decisions that I will make whilst playing through this game. We're going to buy the handgun, and that's what we're going to use on Hardcore. We then unlock Nightmare difficulty, and we need to complete Nightmare before we unlock Inferno. So, the plan is to do Nightmare with the Assault Rifle, and then do Inferno with the Rocket Launchers. Fingers crossed, 
you know, this is going to go okay. And the reason this does not go well is because this pistol is fucking weak as shit, by the way. That's right. Despite being infinite ammo, this pistol has the damage output of a paraplegic chihuahua. This pistol works well when against smaller enemies, such as normal zombies, zombie dogs, or spiders, but not so well when you come across the less usual enemies. Oh, I didn't realize he'd run up, he'd jump up this side. That is fine, that is fine. Oh, it's not fine. And this is a reoccurring theme. Each time we encounter an enemy tougher than your regular zombie, we get absolutely roasted. This process continues throughout most of the game almost dying to the liquor in the police station and the hunter beta in the hospital. The worst section in the whole playthrough, however, is the lab. Right. Oh, it does shut behind me. Okay, we've got one head off. Oh my god, I'm actually sweating my ass off right now. Please, dear god, just die, one of you. I've... I fucking right bumpered to my heart's content then. I hit that so many times, I'm pissed. I fucking run! <laughs> What's the point in a dodge, man? Honestly, it's fucking useless. I'm getting fucking... Okay. Nice dodge. Oh my god, I'm gonna come. Let's go, baby. Eat my fat ass. <sighs> Let's go. 30 minutes of my miserable life later, we have taken out the hunter baiters and only have two more battles to do, both of which are against Nemesis. Yeah, these weren't too bad at all. The first battle was time consuming as the handgun does so little damage, but not too hard overall. The second battle was potentially the easiest battle of the playthrough, as it involves almost no use of the pistol, and with that playthrough complete, we get our next achievement. Show me my goddamn hardcore achievement. Let's go! Veteran, baby! Complete the game on hardcore. Before getting into Nightmare Difficulty Assault Rifle Only playthrough, we revisit the store and pick up the six available coins to help us survive, and honestly, this playthrough was an absolute breeze. The Assault Rifle with the damage coins was easily taking down any enemy before they had a chance to get close to us, and we managed to get to the final boss without a single death. Just thought, I'm gonna have to do this three times, man. What the fuck? As if? What? What can I do there? That is bollocks, man. I'm dead. That's literally it. That's game. Yeah, you can't do anything. Can't do anything. Oh my god. Skipped it. I'm dead. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh. Uh. Um, can I do anything here? I've pressed right bumper! And again! I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Yeah, so it turns out Nightmare difficulty makes enemies more aggressive, and for the final boss, this means that he has the attack speed of Sonic if he was high on cocaine. I'm dead instantly. Instantly dead. Fuck my life, man. I'm I'm actually going to, to scream. I. After a large number of attempts, we decide to exit to the menu and pick up the field guide, which will make it easier for us to dodge getting hit. And for a quick pro tip, if you don't want to die, don't get hit. With the field guide in our possession, that gives us the helping hand we need to take out the nemesis and complete the run. Nightmare, one save. Come on! S rank, baby! And in under two hours. Oh, let's go. So that was the Conqueror achievement. I think that's beat it on Nightmare. Sensational work. Complete the game with an S rank. Fantastic stuff. You've got more. Sprinter. Complete the game in under two hours. This brings us to the final playthrough for the final two achievements on Inferno difficulty, which is where I make the second terrible decision of the video. We need to beat Inferno difficulty with an S rank, so under two hours and I'm not allowing myself to save. So we have to beat 
the game in under two hours in one sitting without dying. For this playthrough, we'll have access to everything in the shop, so we'll be using all of the available coins, the unlimited ammo assault rifle, and, as you can see, the unlimited ammo rocket launcher. As you can imagine, the enormous amount of firepower we have here easily destroys almost every enemy in the game without trouble, and in almost no time whatsoever, we find ourselves back at the final Nemesis battle. Right, we turn. We A. Oh, shit almighty! What are we on? We're only on caution. It's fine. Um, oh, baby. Right, we need to wait for him to go for an attack first. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, heal. No, not the coin, you dick. Oh, my God. Almost insta died. Oh, I stood. Oh, no, no, no. Christ almighty. Is that it? No, that's not it. I am so very lucky. <gasps> right, this is going to be close. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, I fucked it. What am I on? I'm on fine. Ooh, blow that up now. And he's down. Oh. No, 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 Grab. <laughs> Game's not over yet. Game's not over yet. Don't get too excited. Oh, my God. The game's not over yet. We have one more shot to take. I am cacking myself. Right. Come on. Loosey goosey, baby. Right. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did I hit him? No. Nah, just kidding. We absolutely rinse Nikolai off the face of the earth and save Carlos. I think we've done it. Show me that goddamn achievement. Come on, come on, come on. Game mode, Inferno, hour nine, zero saves, zero deaths, S rank, Dominator. Come on, show me the other achievement. Show me the achievement. Come on, come on. I've earned this shit. Let's go! Jill Valentine, baby. Complete the game with an S rank on Inferno. Let's go! And with that time, we actually make it to number 14 on the Resident Evil 3 Inferno difficulty speedrun, if we completely negate the fact that I broke the rules. Resident Evil 3 was actually pretty good. I'd heard some things comparing the remake to the recent Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 2 remakes and saying it wasn't very good, but going into this having not played much of those, I enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to making my way through the other Resident Evil games soon, and if you have any ideas for other games or challenges you want me to do, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.